Hello, hello, welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So today guys, we're gonna be doing a Twin Flames reading um, for what Divine Masculine isn't telling you, okay? So this is most likely for those of you who are in no communication with your Divine Masculine. So my intention for this reading is to find out for you guys how your Divine Masculine is currently feeling towards you, um, what are his intentions with you, and maybe what is he hiding from you. Um, while you're in this no communication, okay? I'm hoping that I'm going to remember everything I just said. Um, <laughs> we'll see. There was three things, I believe. But, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Like, what's going on with your masculine? I haven't done a, twins, a Twin Flames reading in a, in a little while. I've been doing pick-a-card readings. Um, I know a lot of you have been enjoying those, but most of you who have subscribed to my channel like my Twin Flame readings. So, we're going to jump into that today. And we're going to see how your Divine Masculine is currently feeling towards you. This is a collect, oh, sorry, this is a general reading. So please keep in mind that this reading might not resonate with you. I see a lot of you who come on and you get upset because that's not your situation. Um, I could understand if that was a personal reading, but these are general readings, okay? So not everything's going to resonate with you. Maybe you clicked on this reading because there was one message for you. And maybe there's five messages for someone else. So just be open to the fact that maybe someone else needs a message more than you do at this time. Um, and someone else might have your story, okay? That's why it's really important to, uh, you know, subscribe to multiple readers. Um, if you guys wanted to book a personalized reading with me, head over to healandascentoro.com. All the information is down below. I would be happy to work with you. I do same day and extended reading. So let's jump in. So how your divine masculine is currently feeling towards you. Okay. So how is your current how is your divine masculine currently feeling towards you? We have the King of Wands, the Hierophant. How your divine masculine is currently feeling towards you? The Empress. The holy crap! Wow, guys. Whoa. Okay. For those of you who do a lot of tarot readings or maybe who you're a reader yourself, you can understand this is a very, very, very positive spread for how the Divine Masculine is feeling towards the Divine Feminine at this point in time. So very positive energy. Uh, we have the Page of Cups, the King of Wands, the Hierophant, the Empress, and the Sun. Um, so what I'm definitely seeing here is that the Divine Masculine is definitely in this energy of really seeing the empress in or sorry seeing the divine feminine as the empress so in her power um the masculine is wanting a commitment is really thinking about commitment stability um we have the king of wands here so not only is is the masculine wanting commitment but he's also feeling this passion towards the feminine as well so it's like there's a combination of you know feeling the feminine but also wanting to be stable also wanting to be committed which we know in the past this is not very common for the masculine Normally, the masculine does feel an attraction to the feminine, but doesn't really want to be stable, doesn't really want to commit, but I'm seeing definitely wants to commit to his empress, and with the sun here, he's seeing her in a very positive light. Um, he's feeling very happy, very optimistic about the situation, and with the page of cups, your masculine could be wanting to apologize to you um, about something that has happened in the past, okay? So there's, there could be an apology coming in, or at least this is how he's feeling towards you at this time, okay? So these are the things that obviously he's not telling you if you're in separation, but this is where he's currently at. So very positive shift here, guys. I don't know what you're doing. So let's see. How is the divine masculine feeling towards the divine feminine spirit? Yeah, he's brokenhearted, okay? So what he's not telling you at this time is he's really brokenhearted over the fact that there is a separation because I'm seeing this heart who that's really broken in two here um, that has been split apart but is wanting to come back together. Um, but there is still this broken heart. So I feel like your masculine, it could be one of two things. What your divine masculine is telling isn't telling you is that he's still brokenhearted over another connection, or he's still feeling brokenhearted over what has happened between the two of you and the separation that the two of you are currently in. Because remember guys, I'm, this is the last time I'm gonna say it, but I just wanna make it very clear. This is for those of you who are in probably a separation or a no communication with your masculine, okay? Um, so he's feeling really brokenhearted at this time, and this is something that he isn't expressing to you or that he isn't telling you, okay? 
Yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, this is so positive. Like, this is very, very positive reading. Um, how he's feeling towards you, we have blossoming abundance. So he sees that there could be this abundance with you, that there could um, be this potential for just so much happiness. Um, with the word blossoming, this is about something starting out, though. This is about, like, um, a fresh start. Something is just blooming, right? So the, the masculine is seeing this potential for really true happiness here with the divine feminine and is really feeling passionately at, about that at this time. And we have the garden and the gate. So there is where we have the little turn. Not the turn, but what I'm going to say is this. The garden and the gate is really about playing it safe. So while the Divine Masculine is feeling this passion, is wanting to apologize, is wanting commitment, is seeing the Divine Feminine and her power very attracted to the Feminine, the Garden and the Gate, we're going to clarify this because this is really what's holding back the Masculine from coming towards you. Um, this is about being scared to leave what he's known, being scared to leave his comfort zone. Okay, so let's take a look at what this is about. So why do we have the Garden and the Gate here, Spirit? nine of pentacles okay so i see this very clear message so what's happening right now with your divine masculine is it's still really that fear of losing independence okay the other message i'm getting is your masculine might not be feeling like he is completely independent yet or completely secure on his own right because the nine of pentacles can talk about um having just financial prosperity being very uh financially independent so it's either financial independence or it's just the idea of independence in general and so i feel like there's a fear of the masculine is very comfortable where he's at so it could be the sense of you know maybe he's single right now or maybe he just feels like he has a sense of independence and he's scared to leave that um, that feeling of comfort to come towards the feminine because right with the feminine He's aware that at the center of this is commitment, and I am seeing that he is wanting commitment. He is wanting it, but there's also the fear of will he lose his independence if he pursues the feminine, okay? So there's a little bit of fear around that. Um, let's actually, since we're clarifying, let's see why we have the broken heart here as well. Let's see if we can get some indicators around the broken heart. Wow, guys, wow. I had a feeling the tower would come through the King of Swords and the Tower. So this is just indicating that this really is about the masculine um, having this broken heart. And it was very painful. It was very, it happened very quickly. Um, this was a tower moment for the masculine, um, maybe losing the feminine, okay? And really feeling the loss. So sometimes, you know, when you go through an ending with someone, the, the pain of it doesn't hit you till later on. So I'm kind of feeling this is like almost a delayed reaction for the masculine is maybe in the beginning, they weren't, they weren't, feeling too upset about possibly a separation or some sort of ending, but as time went on, they had a tower moment, okay, and it hit them very hard. It hit the masculine very hard, and they felt this um, extreme broken heart and loss of the feminine, okay? All right, so, okay, so we're going to do... Um, what the Divine Masculine, how the Divine Masculine is currently feeling towards you. The other thing I wanted to do is, what is he hiding from you? So what is it that he doesn't want you to know? Um, these are obviously things that, these are more so generated around what he's feeling. So very, very, very positive energy. But let's take a look and see, so what is your Masculine hiding from you? Okay. So we're going to start off with the mixed emotion. So the things that he really doesn't want you to know at this time. So what is he hiding? What is the Divine Masculine hiding from the Divine Feminine?
Yeah, what did I say? Oh, goodness. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay, so I'm getting a strong message right here, just right off the bat, is what your mind, Divine Masculine actually is hiding from you is the fact that he's becoming very intuitive. Um, with the High Priestess of Spirit and the Vision card, he could be actually having visions of you, having dreams of you, or just seeing that you are in his future. There's, there's this feeling of the Masculine just almost having this vision or knowing that you are his Divine Feminine or that you serve some sort of really strong purpose in his life, okay? Um, so very, very positive energy. This is something that he doesn't really want you to know. So maybe he feels that um, you wouldn't, you would think it's kind of weird that he's having these visions. Obviously, as a divine feminine, you know it's not weird, right? But for your divine masculine, masculines aren't as open to this kind of spiritual stuff. Not usually. So your masculine is really going through this spiritual um, awakening with the high priest of spirit and the vision card. And I feel like you could be the catalyst for this person. So he could be getting a lot of visions or dreams um, of you, and you could be kind of leading him. Um, what your Divine Masculine is hiding from you is the fact that he still feels like there, there might be some core differences between the two of you, or that maybe there's fears of the two of you being too different, or that you guys uh, won't see eye to eye on certain things, okay? Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing. I think in any type of connection, there should be differences, but your Masculine is a little bit worried about these differences, okay? So, um, what your Divine Masculine isn't telling you is that he is feeling hopeful, and it could be because he's had some sort of vision or he's got some sort of clarity from spirit um, about this journey. So he, what he's not telling you is that there's there's a sense of hope. There, there's a seed of hope right now for your masculine because of the visions that he's been having or because of his connection to spirit at this time. Um, the other thing he's not telling you, though, is that he's very frustrated. He's feeling very hindered and blocked in terms of coming towards you. So these are things that he doesn't want you to know. I'm going to clarify what's making him frustrated at this time, like what's really preventing him or... Um, what's creating this frustration for the masculine? So he's hiding that he's frustrated. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what he's frustrated about is he's tired of waiting. Um, I'm getting here, he's frustrated by the fact that maybe he's one for feeling actually blocked by you. So maybe he's feeling like you've blocked him or that there's like roadblocks in the way of getting towards you. Because with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a waiting energy. And if you notice, this person is stuck in traffic. So there's this energy of, you know, wanting to get somewhere but feeling like it's taking too long. So your masculine, what he's hiding from you is the fact that he feels frustrated that it's taking too long to get towards you. Now, the reasons why it's taking too long to get towards you could be his own issues, could be his own um, fears, whatever it is that's blocking him. Maybe it's other people. He feels like there's things that are getting in the way of him getting towards you, and this is frustrating to him. This is blocking him, okay? So these are the things that he doesn't really want you to know that he's hiding from you at this time, all right? So let's get some messages from your masculine. So what does he want you to know? So what is your divine masculine not telling you that he wants you to know? So the messages for the divine feminine, you feel like home to me. I miss you regardless of how things seem, and our connection still affects me. So, yeah, what your divine masculine, he could be hiding, he could be pretending that he doesn't care, um, he could be on the surface showing like he's not affected by this, but um, what's really happening is he's very deeply affected. We already saw that he's brokenhearted over this connection. He's had some sort of tower moment, um, and he is really, really deeply affected by this connection. So understand that this is something that he's trying to hide from you, but this is how he's feeling. 
And he's saying he, here that I miss you regardless of how things seem. And again, it's just this feeling of the masculine not really wanting you to know exactly how he's feeling or not wanting to show it, but he does miss you because at the end of the day, you feel like home to him. So he could have, you know, went into other connections, dated other people, been in other situations, but at the end of the day, he's realizing that you're the person that made him feel like home. You're the person that created this level of comfort for him that he had not experienced in the past, okay? So beautiful messages. This is what your divine masculine isn't telling you. I really do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. Um, if it was, be sure to book a personal reading or just send um, a nice comment or a like. You can like the page as well. Definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, sorry, yet. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm sending you love and light, and I wish you guys all of the best on your journeys. Take care.